So today we're going to be taking a look at the Soul Distortion pedal by Lindo. Um, as it says on the tin, it's a distortion pedal, not an overdrive pedal, so this has got masses and masses of gain to be used with a clean amp, preferably. So it gives you that sort of, basically turns a clean channel amp into a two channel amp. You can have clean and you can have utter filth. So uh, let's take a look at this pedal and uh, I'll guide you through some tones and see what we've got on tap here. Um, much like these other pedals, we've got the three knobs here, uh, we've got the volume control here, we've got the tone control, and we have the gain, um, which is what was metal, so that's all we're interested in really, so uh, we'll sort of get straight into that. So behind me I've got the amp here, as we said, set to clean. Actually I'll back the gain off here, and then we can sort of dial that in and you can see basically what we've got. So I'll set the tone to 12 o'clock, volume's back 12-ish, and gains just down here to naught. So let's go for clean here. Step on the pedal. Obviously nothing there because I'm not in the gain yet. So let's just bring that in. So as you can hear, you get to 12 o'clock on the gain and things start to really heat up. Now, with the tone, especially with these P90 pickups, I've got the tone at 12 o'clock. So that's quite biting to me and not a particularly pleasing sound. Or, or definitely very different to my clean sound, which is quite warm. That's really harsh. So let's back this tone down and see whether that really does dial a bit of treble off. We'll just take that back to there. Let's have a little listen to that. So it's great. It's got a really effective tone control. Some pedals don't sort of, the, you can move the tone control, but it doesn't do a lot. But this one, that really does take that harshness away and uh, softens that attack quite nicely. So basically, with a, with a gain just under 12, we've actually got a really usable, nice sort of just overdrive rock sound. So you could use it just as a rhythm pedal if you wanted to. Great for recording purposes, actually, just to give you that really nice um, sort of differentiation between these lower sort of gain settings, and then let's turn the wick up slightly. I'll do this with the guitar ring, and you can hear the gain coming up. That's with the gain about three quarters round. And bearing in mind, I'm using a guitar with P90s, not even like your big metal humbuckers. That is a killer, killer metal tone there. And as I said before, the amp is just on clean. So that's just with the gain on three quarters. There's still more gain on tap. So uh, let's do uh, let's do it. Okay. So there's uh, volume on 12 o'clock here. I've still got the tone wound back because obviously it was a, a little too brittle before. And I've got the gain on on set to ridiculous. So let's give it a go. Great, limitless sustain, and actually for um, a distortion pedal to not mush up like that is a really good feature of this pedal. So we don't have that, it doesn't squish too much. It's still, even with the gain on set to stun, you can still hear some chord and some string definition. Which is <laughs> Yeah, for those metal rhythms, you've still got that nice attack. So what a fantastic pedal to go from nice sort of sensible, polite, clean tone to utter. Oh. Utter mayhem there. So uh, a fantastic pedal. You definitely need to check this one out.
today we're going to be taking a look at the Lindo Natural Overdrive Pedal. Uh, for those of you out there who don't know what an overdrive pedal is or does, uh, just quickly, they were used initially years ago when amps, or back in the sort of 60s, 70s, when amps didn't have a lot of gain on them. Um, they developed this pedal to overdrive the front end of the amp to give you a bit more gain for solos and things like that. Now today, obviously, we've got a lot more high gain amps, but there's still a big place for the overdrive pedal. Um, in fact, I think, personally, I prefer the overdrive pedal to distortion pedals because I like to just take what the amp's got and just push it over the edge slightly. And uh, say a lot of modern metal players use the uh, overdrive pedal. Uh, basically to give them more edge, attack and saturation in their metal tones and then they'll stick a sort of a noise suppressor after it so to sort of cut those notes dead. Um, but it's great for just for giving you that really hot saturated um, lead tone that an amp quite, can't quite deliver. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at this pedal. Uh, I'll give you a quick demo of some of the sounds and uh, see what you think. So to begin with we're going to just go here and We've got a volume control on the left here, we've got a tone control, we've got a drive control, drive gain, basically. Um, we've also got this little switch here with HP and LP uh, printed above that. So I've got it set to HP here, and you'll hear in a minute how it sounds. Um, basically, the HP gives you uh, a, a more presence of sound, uh, enhances the high mids and the treble, uh, which is great if you need that little bit of attack or for searing lead solos. Um, just to give you those, the, the high mids are very important for a solo to cut through, and that switch there boosts those frequencies, uh, which is great, which is, I love that one. Um, if we switch it to the LP, that sort of retains more of your amp's natural character and uh, the, the guitar's natural tone, so it doesn't affect it quite so much. Great for sort of uh, big, fat, chunky riffs and things like that. So let's have a little look here. We'll start with, uh, I've got basically volume and drive absolutely down to nothing. So if I click the uh, pedal in in a minute, you'll see where we're, and where we're going and I'll take you to more and more gain. Um, behind me I've got this head set to a, a, a fairly sort of chunky overdrive sound. By no means sort of into the heavy metal territory. So now what I'll do is I'll step on the pedal here. Obviously it's no volume or anything, so we've got no sound at the minute. So what I'll do now is just to bring the volume up to about 12 o'clock and just see how that basically has enhanced the push of my guitar into the front end of the app. So without the pedal, with the pedal. Just starting to give it a little bit. Let's up that volume a bit. So this is no drive at all. This is literally just a volume boost now. Now if we start to bring the drive up, then we start to get some serious gain going on. So if I put the drive just up a quarter of the way there, let's click on that. Fair old bit of gain coming into play there. As I said, that's with the HP setting, which gives you that uh, enhanced mids for the lead. So let's up the gain slightly. Now what I'm going to do is, is just back the volume off a touch. So they're both about 12 o'clock here. Uh, tone there just below 12. So, still on the HP setting here. Just hear that. Quite a boost. So let's up that gain. Let's go mega saturated. There. Should be good for sort of some lead sound. Say great for those sort of fast and tight metal sort of. So let's try this LP switch quickly. Flip that down. Just back the drive off slightly, and this is more for your sort of good rock rhythm sort of sounds. So there's just the amp on its own. Give the pedal in. Not 
quite so much bite as the LP setting, but great for those sort of, you know, just good heavy rock tones. Um, so there we have it, the uh, Lindo Natural Overdrive. It'll give you anything from just nice bluesy breakup, Hendrixy style stuff, and just at the flick of a switch, we're just down there. Get that in there. <laughs> Those sort of nice vibes there. To absolute insane metal. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lindo Divine Delay pedal. And the best way to get started with this is just to jump straight in there and see what sounds this baby can give us. Um, let's take a look at it first off. We've got uh, three knobs here on the top. We've got the level control, we've got the repeat control, and we've got the delay control. Um, the level control is just the amount of delay, the amount of effect. Um, the repeat is how many repeats. After you pick one note, how many times it'll go dit, 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 repeat after that. The delay here is the timing of the delay, so we can either have a very short, you know, very short da -da 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 after a note, or we can have a sort of up to over half a second um, in between hits there. So um, for the little intro piece I did, it was kind of like a sort of Irish cheeky type thing I was using. Um, I've still got the delay pedal set up for that, so what we'll do is I'll play you the dry signal, and then I'll switch the, uh, the pedal on and you can see you know, the difference and how it affects the sound. So if we go with that first, all I was doing at the start was literally this. Which uh, played dry sounds highly dull. Um, so we take our little delay pedal, which should hopefully, fingers crossed, add a nice little uh, effect. Let's give it a go. So you can see there what a, uh, instantly it sort of livens up a, an otherwise very sort of boring melody line just with that little slap back there. So great for that sort of purpose if you're in a sort of a three piece band or something like that and you want to create some spacey sort of guitar effects or uh, um, in, it basically enhance your sound and make yourself sound bigger to fill that sound. It gives you a sort of a more 3D sort of vibe going on. Now also we can use uh, delays um, just in sort of a, a basic sort of rock rhythm setting. So if I uh, take the level here, wind that back to just literally just uh, not even a quarter of the way up, increase the repeat slightly, I'll increase the timing of the delay slightly. Now I'll uh, say one of my favourite players was on it when I was a kid and growing up was Van Halen and if you listen to those sort of first couple of albums he uses a sort of a gentle delay on his rhythm playing, as well as his lead playing, but on his rhythm playing all the time. So let's see how that works in a rock setting. I just need to check this. As you see, we've got a, a just a little gentle slap back. I might even just take a tiny bit more level off. So let's have the difference between, I'll play a sort of an 80s kind of rock rhythm dry, and then I'll put the delay on and see how it sort of just bolsters it up slightly. So let's put the old overdrive pedal on as well, and we'll just play a sort of an 80s pedal tone riff. Now I'll stick the delay on. As you see, it sort of uh, 
again, it's just a textural thing, but uh, in, a, in a sort of a live band context, it can suddenly make your guitar a lot more spacious and uh, fill the sound a bit more, especially on that sort of three-piece guitar bass drum setting. Also, if you um, want to play a bit of lead guitar, the delay pedals are great for um, elongating notes, if you will. They sort of smooth um, between notes. There's little, little flurries and things like that. And also some gentle sort of slow lead guitar. If you listen to people like Dave Gilmore from Floyd, um, it's a great little effect. So let's just try a little bit of that. If I uh, increase the timing so that timing between the delays is a little longer, I'll just up the repeat slightly and I'll just up the level very slightly. And what you'll notice if you get one of these pedals, the tiniest little movements between any of these knobs can alter the sound dramatically because you've got th three different things here and they're all working you know, to create a different sound. So it does take a lot of playing around with these pedals, but uh, it is a lot of fun, I assure you. So let's give it a, a little bit of that sort of Floydy type, uh, sort of Dave Gilmore type melody line here. Um, I'll stick a tiny bit of drive on, just reduce that slightly. Here we go. Um, right, so let's give that a little the level slightly a bit more delay I reckon. A little less repeat, let's give that a go. Basically, if I play that sort of lick dry, you hear what I mean, the difference. Now I'll stick some delay on. demo of three of these Lindo pedals. Um, we have the Natural Overdrive, the Soul Distortion and the uh, Divine Delay. Um, I've got my amp here behind me set to clean. So what I want to show you is if you've just got an amp that only does clean, you can just put a few of the pedals in front of it and create yourself a, a, a three channel amp basically. So what I've done here, I've just had a little mess around with these uh, pedals here. I've using my overdrive a pedal just as a bit of rock rhythm, distortion then gives me a good hot lead boost and then the delay if I need a little bit of delay effect. So let's uh, just quickly go through them and see what we got. So there's a clean amp. So we've got a nice sort of overdrive pedal there, a bit bitey, let's take a bit of that tone off actually. There we go, let's give that a go. So there we got clean amp, a little bit of distortion, overdrive is quite nice that one. So then you need to get to your, oh I need a lead sound, oh just step on the distortion pedal next. back to clean so we got clean rock rhythm and a boosted lead just out of those two pedals which is great so you can just have a single channel amp and then obviously I can stick a bit of delay in there as well on my lead tone great pedals there, say so a, a basic clean sound behind me and then we've got some killer overdrives and distortions just at the top of the foot there. 
Quickly off, back to clean again. <laughs> <laughs>